What are the most prescribed blood pressure medications? Coming next are the top five, including an overview of side effects. Top five most prescribed blood pressure medications. I'm Dr. John from Think Your Health. This video is part five in a series of videos looking at blood pressure. If you're interested in the previous series of videos, click right here. And if the fifth interested... most common blood pressure medication, it's hydrochlorothiazide, also known as HCTZ. HCTZ is a diuretic. The brand name is Microside. It works by making you pee more. That is why it's called a water pill. In this way, this medication removes extra water and salt from your body. You can take this medication in two forms, as a capsule or a tablet. The capsule dosing is 12.5 milligrams. The tablet dosing is 12.5 milligrams, 25 milligrams or 50 milligrams. You can take this medication with or without food. It is recommended that you take this medication earlier in the day so that you don't have to keep on getting up in the middle of the night to pee. The medication is given usually once a day. The maximum dose is 50 milligrams daily. If your kidney function is worsening, your dose will have to be adjusted. Speak to your healthcare provider if this is the case. The likelihood of side effects increases if your dose is higher than 25 milligrams daily. All drugs may cause side effects. There will be always some people who will have no or mild side effects. If you do have side effects, call your doctor as soon as possible to get advice accordingly. Some common side effects are low blood pressure, electrolyte abnormalities such as low potassium and sodium, increased blood sugars, GI side effects such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, rash, photosensitivity, headache, and muscle cramps. The fourth most prescribed blood pressure medication is Losartan. It belongs to a family of medications called angiotensin II receptor blockers, ARBs for short. The brand name is COSAR. Losartan works by relaxing your blood vessels and in this way your blood pressure is reduced. This results in a more efficient blood flow through your vessels. The tablets in the dosage forms are 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 100 milligrams. I usually start at the lowest dose, which is 25 milligrams, and titrate up gradually. Some doctors like to start at a higher dose at 50 milligrams, especially in younger patients, and increase the dose for blood pressure control and symptom management. This is usually given once a day. The maximum dose is 100 milligrams daily. What are common side effects? Common side effects are dizziness, upper respiratory infection, nasal congestion, back pain, cough, low blood pressure, fatigue, high potassium levels, changes in kidney function, edema, palpitations, skin rash, joint pain, muscle pain. Continuing with our countdown, the third most prescribed blood pressure medication is metoprolol. Metoprolol is a type of medication or medicine called a beta blocker. Like other beta blockers, metoprolol works by slowing down your heart rate and making it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. Metoprolol does this by changing the way your body responds to some nerve impulses, especially in the heart. The brand name for metoprolol is Lopressor and Troprol XL. This medication not only treats blood pressure, but can be also used after a heart attack and in the treatment of congestive heart failure, as well as treating chest pain associated with coronary heart disease. There are two forms, an immediate release form and an extended release form. The immediate release form is called metoprolol tartrate. Metoprolol tartrate is typically administered in two to three divided daily doses. This can be taken with a meal or immediately after a meal. The doses are the following, 25 milligrams, 37.5 milligrams, 50 milligrams, 75 milligrams, and 100 milligrams. I usually start low and titrate up. That is 25 milligrams twice a day. The maximum dose is 400 milligrams in two divided doses. Metoprolol succinate is administered once daily. This can be taken with or without food. It is a 24 hour extended release tablet. The maximum dose here is 400 milligrams daily, but the usual dose is 50 milligrams to 200 milligrams daily. Most common side effects are slowing down your heart rate, low blood pressure, diarrhea, depression, skin rash, dizziness, fatigue, shortness of breath. What blood pressure medications are you on? Leave your answers in the comments below. If you're finding value in this video, like, comment and subscribe. 
The second most prescribed medication is amlodipine. Amlodipine belongs to a class of drugs called calcium channel blockers. The brand name for amlodipine is Novask. Amlodipine is used for the treatment of high blood pressure. It works by relaxing and widening blood vessels. This lowers your blood pressure and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. Amlodipine can be also used for the treatment of angina. Amlodipine works by improving the blood supply to your heart. The doses for amlodipine are 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams. In older adults, I start at the lowest dose at 2.5 milligrams and titrate slowly. If you're younger, or middle-aged, your healthcare provider might start you on a high dose such as 5 milligrams. In my experience, for better control of coronary artery disease and chronic stable angina patients, they end up being titrated up to 10 milligrams daily. 10 milligrams daily is the maximum dose. Of course, the higher the dose, the higher the chances of side effects. Most common side effects for amlodipine are feeling tired or drowsy, GI side effects such as stomach pain, nausea, constipation, flushing and redness, and feeling warm, especially in the facial and neck area, heart palpitations or fluttering of the heart, swelling in your feet, ankles, and lower extremities, feeling dizzy, and the feeling you might pass out, muscle cramps. The most prescribed blood pressure medication is lisinopril. Lisinopril belongs to a group of medicines known as angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. They're also called ACE inhibitors. The brand names are Prinavil and Zestril. Lisinopril relaxes and widens the blood vessels. This lowers your blood pressure and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. Lisinopril is used to treat high blood pressure. By lowering high blood pressure, lisinopril helps prevent strokes, heart attacks, and kidney problems. It is also used to treat heart failure. Another Another use of lisinopril is to improve survival after a heart attack. Lisinopril can be taken by mouth as a tablet and the strengths are as follows 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, 30 milligrams and 40 milligrams. The maximum dose of this medication is 40 milligrams daily. Take this medication by mouth with or without food as directed by your healthcare provider. It is also usually taken once daily. The most common side effects are low blood pressure, dizziness, skin rash and photosensitivity, GI side effects like constipation and diarrhea, increased renal parameters, cough, increased potassium, ear ringing. Here's a video looking at how to treat blood pressure without medications and this video here is looking at the most common blood pressure symptoms. Think your health and think your blood pressure. Hopefully it came 21 minutes, wow.